Welcome back, traders. Second portion of our show, Market Movers. Uh, get a little boost from the jobless claim numbers. Uh, now trading up a point on the day above settlement, right in our mid-range. So uh, mild resistance in the S&Ps here. Uh, a lot of market movers. Uh, we got one that's falling out of bed, Dennis. Uh, where would you like to start? Uh, we'll start with Abercrombie and Fitch ANF. Uh, it's the second earnings report in a row here. That this stock has just been pummeled. If you remember back, going back, uh, Joel, to three months ago there, you can see the gap in your chart there in early November right here when we went from the 70 uh, to $73 area, fell all the way to 63 on their earnings report, so a huge gap down stock kept drifting lower after that it's found some nice support but it's taken all that out today uh, stock is breaking down through that old 52 week low of 43.56 trading 41.60 right it's 41.69 right now uh, got as low as 39.99 so call it 40 bucks in the pre-market i think you get some good support there especially since the pre-market bottom there as well if the stocks continue to pull back. Resistance, I would use that 43.56, which is your old 52-week low. What are you thinking, Joel? Whew. Well, we always say we don't know who shops at these stores, and <laughs> uh, this this is a pretty good example. Uh, going to, uh, taking a look at this stock uh, on the monthlies, you did have good support at uh, 41.55. That was a low back in November of 2010. Uh, kind of sliced through that in the pre-market and went down to that forty-dollar level. Uh, so I'd use that forty-one fifty-five as a swing number. Uh, below that, uh, look for a test of the pre-market low at forty. Below that thirty-seven thirty. Uh, coming back on the upside, uh, since the stock has made the low at thirty-nine ninety-nine. Uh, he has not traded above 42 bucks, so use that 42 bucks as resistance. Uh, we might as well stick with our retailer theme since this is retail uh, sales Thursday too. Um, but Ann, uh, Ann Taylor actually reported earnings as well here, Joel. Uh, stock is trading down significantly on that report, 21.85 right now after closing at 20. Uh, 456. So the stock is breaking down to this low that we highlighted on the Market Movers page. What's that low there late November? You'll, what is that? Do you have that number, Joel, the specific low? Yeah, 2174. Yeah, there it is, 2174. So I think that's what may give you some initial support. It is help holding up the pre market right now. If it takes that out, uh, then um, you know it's <laughs> then that's not good for the stock. But if it can hold that 2174 area, maybe you try along there. But these retailers can really get momentum going, and when they start breaking down, you know they can take out a lot of levels. So you got to be careful with the trading the, uh, these retailers. Yeah, below that. Uh, well, let's look at the pre-market activity, Dennis. And you are correct. We did bottom out at 2166. Uh, mounted a real little bit of a rally since then, uh, barely getting over 22 bucks. So let's use uh, that 22 bucks as minor resistance. Uh, above that, I'd be looking at least for 22.50. Uh, don't think it has a chance to get back up to that old 52-week high or 52-week low. Uh, coming back on the downside. Uh, if in fact we can't hold this 2166 level, um, I'm looking back. There's a, a, a gap to fill, but before that, you had a low at 2105 back on uh, September 6. So, uh, if in fact the pre-market low doesn't hold, uh, look for support right around the $21 level. Sticking with our retailer theme, so many uh, retailers reporting same store sales, and a lot of them bouncing around a lot here this morning. Kohl's KSS. Getting a good lift on their January sales, 47.55. It's trading right now after closing at 45.56. This 48 bucks, we had a couple tops there a few weeks ago in the 48 area. I think that might be your initial resistance above that. You can look at these other uh, tops here, which is about 48.83. I'm getting there, so um, that would be the next point if it takes out that 48 dollars, Joel. Have to concur with you on this one, Dennis. Uh, the pop in the pre-market here is taking us up to 40, 47.60, currently uh, resting at that level. Major, major resistance uh, from 48.06 to 48.15. Uh, you actually had three consecutive highs uh, back at the end of January at 47.99, 48.06, and 48.15. So looks like someone's been working a piece at that level. 
if in fact it does break above and hold 48, I'd be looking for uh, 4883, which was the high on January 19th. Uh, coming back on the downside, Dennis, if this thing doesn't hold 47, uh, there's not a whole heck of a lot uh, holding it up until yesterday's high. Uh, yesterday's high was 46.55, so if this thing does go into reverse, it does have a chance to fill the gap. Target reporting same store sales as well. Uh, 40, it's trading 52.50 right now after closing at 51.42. So Target getting a good lift on their same store sales, Joel. Uh, looking at this top here was 52.34. Uh, we're above that. Uh, 53 area, we had a top there in early uh, December. And um, eh, it's it's hard to say, though. Like, this stock, you know, could get some momentum going here, too. I remember breaking down on the same store sales there. I think it was two months ago. I had a terrible couple of sessions. Uh, so it's trying to get almost all of that back here uh, over the last couple of sessions. And then coupled with today, it is almost getting it all back here, Joel. What do you think technically TGT? Uh, well, looking at the pre-market, you did get a print there at 53.05, so that's going to be uh, our first stopping point on the upside. Uh, that coincides nicely with the uh, December 15th high of 53.01, so keep a close eye on that. Um, coming back on the downside, um, just hovering here after hitting that 53 level, just 52.50. Uh, if in fact we break down through that 5250 area, it's going to be uh, you know, not much support until yesterday's high at 5154. Another one reporting same store sales as Gap GPS stock is getting a, a heck of a lift here today, Joel. Uh, trading 21 bucks right now, so GPS is going to be one of your major market movers here today. A lot of volume associated with that too, Joel. Uh, over 77,000 shares, which is a lot of volume for this stock this early in the morning. So it looks like this uh, move is, is uh, backed up by some good volume as well. We look back here at these highs when we're going into mid-November. I was looking at 20, what is it, 2041 and 2039. Uh, we're well above that right now, so if we're to pull back, maybe that would give you some support. But we're starting to take out this 21 here too. We've topped out at 21, but it's trading a lot of stock there, so maybe use that 21 for your swing number. Yeah, well, I guess if we go to the theory of uh, buying stocks at stores that you're in, uh, I actually was over there over the uh, president, not President's Day, but Martin Luther King weekend uh, with my wife, and she did. She put a little hurt on the credit card <laughs> on that one. So, but hey, man, the place is inexpensive. Uh, so, uh, based on that theory, uh, I'm initiating coverage with a buy. Uh, up to the $23 level. Now, in seriosity here, uh, 21's been a big level in the pre-market. Uh, you're up 8% on a stock. I'd see use that 21 as a swing number. Um, interestingly, this thing is working hard to fill a gap that it's had between 1982, <coughs> excuse me, and 2290. So uh, that's an old air, buddy, up to 2290. Uh, Merck reported here as well this morning, Joel, so we're going to move away from the retailers for a minute, move into Merck. Uh, it's actually trading quite a bit of stock here at 39.10, which is above this 39 resistance area. I wonder if it's still going to open above that 39. It's such a key resistance area. We're still 45 minutes away from the open. Uh, but keep an eye on that 39 number. I'd use that for a swing number. If it opens below there, I'd use it as a resistance, opens above there, maybe get a little bit of initial support. Great support down this 38.20 area. Uh, and it just for full disclosure, I do have a trading position on in Merck as well. Um, this chart kind of looks like the GE chart, Dennis. You've had a real nice run here uh, since uh, the, well, August and then the October lows. And now you're getting some major, major consolidation here. Uh, if, in fact, you can hold this 39 number, uh, I'm looking for a double top here, 39.40 to 39.43 to be tested. Uh, coming back on the downside, um, yesterday's high was at 39.01. We're right at that area. So uh, 39 can't hold. Uh, perhaps we'll go down, go down and take a look at settlement. 
MasterCard reported earnings here as well, Joel. This stock was a little bit wild after a report. It traded as low as maybe Joel can find that number out for us. I, th I noticed it trading down to 353, but it might have even traded lower than that in the pre market when it initially reported. It's now trading 367, so they're starting to like the number here. Complete reversal. Stock's actually up 10 points now. So looking at the charts here, um, if you keep in mind, we've got a fifth or we've got a three month high here up, up 381.96. That's a long ways away. Uh, but, oh, I'm sorry, that's not the, it's 384.99, uh, but 370 might be a key psychological number. Uh, do you have that low, though, from the pre-market there, Joel? Yes, I do there. It's, uh, well, I, I see a print here, and it might have been an odd lot at 351, uh, but I think what the more uh, stable print was at 353.50. Okay. Uh, at least you had 3,000 shares trading there. Uh, so that's a long ways away, Dennis. I don't know if that's going to come into play. It's a good 14 bucks away from here. Really, uh, these three $400 stocks are uh, really not my cup of tea to trade. But um, if I was trading this one, I'd be keeping a real close eye here on this three 367 level. Um, it did spike up higher in the pre-market. It did get up to 370.98 with some volume. But this 367 level was a high that we had. Um, not too long ago, back on fourth, we're trading right around that level. That's what I'd use as a swing number. Kellogg's report earnings as well, Joel. Symbol K on that one. Uh, it's trading 51 bucks right now. This is the key number for this stock. I'm looking at the charts here. We topped out a little bit late December in this 51 area. And then a couple of weeks ago, we made a couple of tops here right around that 51. Uh, that's the number that it's trading at right now. So I think that's your initial resistance. We get above there. Uh, then you could look at these other couple of highs, which were around 51.37. But 51 I'd use as my initial resistance. If it starts to pull back, I think you might get some support at 50. Yesterday's high was 50.05. So call it 50 bucks. Um, so I would trade this and be a buyer probably or in that low 50 area and possibly a seller in the high 50s depending on what it does with this 51. Yeah, it should be. Is there any size at 51 don't there? See no size, but it's trading quite a bit of stock here, Joel. There's multiple trades. About 15 trades just went off there, 51, just a few minutes ago. Uh, so there is some size going there. So it seems to be a key number for it here in the pre-market anyways. It is bid there at 51 now, though, so maybe it's taking out some size and it's trying to move higher here. Uh, keep an eye on the next 40 minutes, but what do you think technically? <laughs> It, well, those numbers that you gave right above that, that 5134 and the 5137 uh, should be the next stopping point if, in fact, this uh, 51 holds. Um, also, uh, the stock is uh, struggling to, to fill a gap here. It uh, has gap uh, way back in uh, November. Uh, we had a gap down, and we're perhaps trying to fill that. Uh, but uh, the stock is rallying as long as it can hold this uh uh, 51 level uh, we should be good to go uh, below this 51 like you said uh, long way down to yesterday's high I don't think uh, it's going to get down that low but keep an eye on the 5005 one more for you here, Joel. Dow, D-O-W, which is Dow Chemical Report Earnings as well. Everybody seems to be reporting here this morning. This stock has had a monster move here. In the last you know, month and a half, we went from 25 bucks, just over 25 to 33.94. It's a monster move for a stock like this. Um, if it didn't blow the number away, it was probably going to pull back just because it had such a such a run, and it is pulling back this morning. 33.15 after closing at 33.94. Interesting. It was trading lower there, Joel. Maybe Joel can give us the pre-market low there uh, when he does his piece on it. But just saying, you know, we've had this huge uptrend. You could probably draw a trend line. Maybe it pulls back to that, trying buys off that. But uh, I started to break below this 32. I'd get nervous if I was along the stock. Hit uh, thirty-two fifty-one in the pre-market, Dennis, and uh, it's really had a slow, steady climb since then, uh, topping out at uh, thirty-three twenty-five. So I would use that as uh, resistance. Uh, after the big run, Dennis, you had this consolidation and then this major resistance at the thirty-four dollar level. Uh, so uh, gap to fill up to thirty-three fifty-eight, which was yesterday's low, which isn't that all that far away. Uh, so use that uh, 3330 to 3350 level as resistance. Uh, coming back on the downside, um, you did have uh, some lows at 3304, uh, but it was sliced through that uh, during the pre-market. So I'd be 
be looking for 32.69 to be tested if uh, the stock goes into sell-off mode. Uh, that's we've got so many earnings reports here today. We can't go through them all. We posted a few other ones up there on the site, but you know that's hopefully some food for thought for you. So check your earnings calendar, and um, good luck with your trading today. And we'll be back with you tomorrow.